Hello friends, today we are with Rishabh Sinha who is a new entrepreneur and who is running an organization as well. So let's uh, meet Rishabh Sinha who is Patna based. So Rishabh, why don't you introduce yourself? Um, so I am basically a CEO of a research and development company TechAx and we work on multiple domains uh, which are robotics, automation, IoT, virtual reality, artificial intelligence and machine learning. So we also provide our services to different startup companies and we also work in the education domain. We conduct training sessions for students. We do boot camps for school students. Alright, as you mentioned that you are into automation. So in automation, what uh, you do? So in automation, we basically automate things for other companies. Mm -hmm. So like uh, if you want to automate your attendance system, we can do that. Okay. If you want to automate automate your any any simple stuff on your website, we can do that as well. All right. And uh, apart from this, you mentioned uh, uh, other things as well. So how um, new companies or any existing company can take your uh, services? You're like uh, if you if you can if you can afford our service. We can uh, act as a freelancing agency for you. If you cannot, we can simply take an equity from your company and we can just simply help you out. No? Okay. Uh, Rishabh, uh, if you don't mind, may I ask your age? Because you look so fresh and so energetic. I'm 14 right now. Oh, wow. So, at 14, you establish your own company and you're uh, running successfully. I did that at 13. Okay. So, my company is a year old. And uh, now, at the very first start, we were providing services. Mm -hmm. Now we are focused on research and development as well. So we so also provide. Uh, we also develop few products. So initially, uh, what kind of responses you receive when you start your company? Uh, at the very start, uh, uh, few people I approached them, but they were like, "You are too young to do this stuff." But now it's not the case anymore. We built a good work portfolio and. No, no one questions the skills, right? Okay, that's right. Uh, tell us more about your work, your company. Um, so uh, basically, I'm also, I'm also uh, like, I'm also a developer. I code. I also build robotic stuffs. I also work with hardware. And uh, because I, I did, I did, I'm doing this stuff from four years, and I started the company a year back. So I was having that portfolio with me. I was having that work uh, work stuff with me. I can, I had something which I can show to uh, people and I can approach them. Okay. Uh, so what kind of uh, challenges uh, you're facing and what are your goals in future? Uh, the biggest challenge is like my age. Okay. You know, I'm not even the director of my company. I'm just acting as a CEO. I don't even hold a single share in my company. Mm -hmm. My father, father and mother does. Okay. So uh, th I think this was the only problem. The other one was my location. You know, in Patna you can, in Bihar you cannot find a great startup ecosystem. You know? So uh, uh, I was li just like uh, working, uh, working in that city, and I I tried to get some people on board. I tried to build a team. But unfortunately, I failed to some extent. But then I found out few guys who joined the team as being the, a core member, and then we hired out some interns and professionals as well. Okay. So when how we many, expanded? Uh, so how many uh, members you have in your team or in your company? Uh, right now, uh, we have three core members, uh, four full working professionals, and ten interns. Okay. And uh, so now you are paying them the salary as well. Yeah, I'm and paying you are them managing the whole thing. Yeah, I'm managing the whole thing, and I'm also in the management part of the company, and I'm also in the development part of the company. So I am personally involved in every project which uh, which comes to our company. So in other words, we can say that you are an employer as well as an employee. Yeah, you're right. Okay, and uh, what are your goals in future? So uh, like uh, now, as of now, I just want to quit services in a year uh -huh. and we want to continue with products. Okay. So we have some few products uh, with us which, which is in commercialization stage. So we'll bring them in market in a year okay. and we'll try to bootstrap our company to the most extent. I simply don't want to uh, tell, uh, I simply don't want, any, uh, don't want anyone who can, 
question my vision and i just want uh, no interaction in my company you know i want i want full uh, that full you know uh, the f- uh, the full uh, things i got uh now one more thing i'd like to ask you yeah uh would you like to say something to our viewers yeah sure uh, because like, uh, there are many of uh, people would like to start a company and they are also uh, you know they are facing some challenges of course you must have uh, yeah, faced the same right. so i think your message would definitely give them a courage to start so uh, if you're if you're very young if you want to start a company uh, my personal recommendation would be for first build a vision and then start your company and also build that relevant skills required to run that company and uh, and one of the most important part is building your work portfolio so that uh, if you approach people you'll get good response and the other important stuff is to uh, make your parents happy at the same time as well Yes, uh, of course. They are. They are the. If they are not happy, they will. Yeah. They will not give they'll, you uh, they'll, sufficient encouragement. Yeah. So, they'll even not encourage. They'll not help you out, uh-huh. and uh, uh-huh. you'll face a lot of issues at home. Okay. Have so, you faced any issues? Yeah, I did face. I did face um, few months, but okay. now like they completely understood what I'm doing, and it's not the issue anymore. Yeah, because uh, nowadays most of the parents are not uh, clear about their yeah, definitely. Uh, children's definitely. vision and their future. Yeah, uh, they simply they want their to own wo- dreams. They simply want them to work on academics and then get a simple job and just continue a life. So as you mentioned about academics, so uh, would you like to say something about your school and your whole routine? Uh, yeah, so I hardly go to school actually, and I'm just looking for a dropout after tenth. and i would recommend everyone just not to uh, work out on your academics but to build some relevant skills which can help you out in the future and build a good a very good portfolio okay but as we all know that uh, education is very important yeah it is but it depends like what you mean education is most of the parents uh, i uh, mean education is all about academics but it's not education is all about building relevant skills and if you're building relevant skills if you're working on a, even on a specific domain you are uh, you are in the education part and even i'm learning every day i'm learning new things every single day that's wonderful okay rishabh as uh, you are with us so would you like to say something to our startup self viewers yeah definitely uh, i would recommend all the viewers to like start up your journey as soon as possible and uh, the hardest part of starting up is at the b- very beginning and i would also say startup selfie guys are doing very great job they are helping startup reach the uh, reach uh, viewers like you uh, they are helping uh, people start up they are building your uh, entrepreneurs thank you uh, we wish you very happy journey as well as uh, all the very best Thank you. Thank you, Rishabh.